Igbo's lawyer demands 500 million naira for damage done by se- Department of State Services to client's property. Solicitor to Yoruba rights activist on the DMO has demanded 500 million naira as compensation from the federal government for the losses incurred by his client after the raid on Igbo's house by men of the DSS. And it's actually proven because the DSS admitted to causing all this havoc. So yeah. The DSS operative stormed the activist residence in Ibadan Oyo State on Thursday. The agency's spokesman later issued a statement confirming the raid, disclosing that two of Ibuhu's aides were killed and ammunition charms and other, other exhibits allegedly retrieved from his residence. But in a letter addressed to the federal government by Ibuhu's lawyer, um, Yomi Aliu, on Saturday, the council demanded 500 million naira as reparation for damage done by DSS officers to his clients' exotic cars, which included Mercedes-Benz G-Class and 2019 Lexus car. He stated that the DSS cut it away with 1,000 euros, 2 million naira, expensive jewelry worth millions, travel documents, amulet, Igbo's iPhone 12, and phones of about 15 others living um, in the house, including those killed by officers and yet to be identified belongings. He wrote, We hereby demand that the federal government orders an investigation to the actions of the various security operatives led by the DSS that raided Chief Adeyemo's, um house with a view to sanctioning them and release all the innocent people arrested and compensate the families of those murdered. Our client should also be paid 500 million naira as reparation for damage to his exotic cars. Um, and as they should as they should because why if you're going to look for a man and you did not find the man why do you have to destroy whatever was in a man's you know property um so yeah ali you alleged that the operatives were disappointed they could not find a single gun or ammunition in the client's house hence um arrested two police escorts of ibuho's guests and added their guns to those harvested from the armory to make members of the public believe that a client keeps militia of uh militia or as stated by them he is about waging war on nigeria will this be with his mayor amulets people who know our client of over 30 years of what actually 20 years will testify that eguho osa does not carry gone on his person exclamation mark all right um i mean i don't know what the worth or value of anything of all the things are but yes they have to be reparations i mean if you see what they did to this man's house i mean and also for the fact that they killed some of his people as well as you know, taking his wife that is crazy um it's 500 million money compared to loss uh, of lives I was expecting billions because our politicians no longer handle millions again. Oh, yeah, honestly, that is true. It is chicken change to them. So, um, yeah, but honestly, beyond that, I think it's just for the, for, 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 just to repel other things. Again, you damage property that is not yours, you pay for it. That's it. Um, again, it's not like as if the money is out here to replace the lives, but, you know, yeah. Someone says, lawyers have cash out from Sunday. Let him jump to face out dss at the right time what does that mean as a lawyer has the right to demand for what what seems to be justice in his interest they all must be thoroughly investigated government should pay for the damage of just bad governance preach preach i think if every nigerian needs to be compensated for the for the emotional psychological damage <laughs> that the government has inflicted on its people because it is a lot to being Nigerian and for a lot of things not to work when Nigerians could probably pay for a lot of things it just doesn't make sense. Um someone here says means or meanwhile Buhari's father um reason why they ban the mannequin. Oh yeah, oh, they banned the mannequin use in the northern state. We we know that. I don't even know what that means. Um someone says Hope they will also pay for their lives that they have lost too. Yeah, because then they would not even parade the DSS, the actual, you know, DSS members that were the ones who killed, you know, Ibuho's 
people um yeah so I'm how many of you are really aware of what is going on with um namdi kanu now yeah i think we are all aware <laughs> Um, someone says, let Igboho come by himself to collect the money, not his lawyer. <laughs> You're even expecting the government to pay yeah. for it? Yeah. I'm I'm just thinking that, you know what, let them just follow due process that, you know, for the damaged property and all that, they did, you know, he did get a lawyer and, you know, they went through the process of trying to get his, you know, property back, which, you know, seems fair. Um, how much you Igboho would pay the government for owning weapons and killing innocent Nigerians. What makes you think he has done that? Where's your proof? Huh? Um, 500, naira, 500 million naira is very small. Though. Things don't cost for markets. Let's not even talk about the laws of lives. I mean, again, not going to lie, with inflation and with the way the, the naira has been devalued, um, yeah, I think the price has to go up a little bit because, yeah. Um... Someone says, at least Igboho did not sneak out to a foreign land. He's yet to claim damages since he knows the government aired by invading his home. Not some Ifulefu that disappeared only to resurface in a foreign land. Honestly, I don't know what... I actually, I've not even seen that anything has been done to, um, to Inamdi Kanu. But I think one thing you have to understand is that um, so Igboho's wife was taken... So where do you expect him to go? Um, yeah. Someone here says, see where you will belong to wherever they, when, whenever they go, whenever they grab you and your oga. So they put a picture of an Ambikanu here being treated in a very ugh, bad manner. And of course him in court. Um, yeah, a lot of things are going on. We our human rights get violated in this country, to be honest, and no one is talking about it. Um uh, the lawyer should be arrested. Why? Why should he be arrested? You guys, I, I, I don't know. It's a lot of things. I it's so shocking at times that you'd have people supporting the wrongdoings of the government and is when something is so it's so evidently wrong, but then maybe it's not evidently wrong. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, everything is everything is upside down. It's obviously it's it's so sad, but yeah, it is what it is at this point. Um, obviously, good luck to Igboho. Good luck to Namukano. Hopefully, they come out of this. But yeah, it it depends on us as as citizens and as fellow Nigerians to to call out the government on its hypocrisy. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.